Hiya! Right, this is the second attempt at this because my internet has been absolutely awful. Um, I just tried out some makeup because I've been bored all day. It is absolutely scorching outside. That is why my face is so unbelievably greasy. This is my problem. I need new skin because my face is dry and oily. It's oily there. It's oily there with pores all over my nose. There and there. But these patches here are dry. So I put enough powder onto it, they're not oily, they go really dry. And even if I didn't do it, they're not oily, they end up oily again afterwards. It is a hard life. I think my eyelashes are falling off. Can't even tell I've got them on. Yeah, so many problems in the world of Rihanna, including fat lips. Mm -hmm. Awful gappy fringe. Terrible hair because I can't bear to straighten it. Greasy cheeks, porous nose. Oh my god. Anyway, enough about <laughs> enough about how awful I am. Let's talk about how awful the world of beauty is. Okay. So my friend was raving about this new mascara called Benefit. They're real. And so was everybody in the world. So I went out and I was like, okay, mum, I want one of these prompts. So my eyelashes look super long and I don't have to buy false eyelashes. Because my friend and everybody was like, bearing in mind my friend has very long eyelashes. So she said, it's amazing. And everybody else was saying 99.9 .9 billion percent of women who tried it said it was amazing. So I was like, screw it. It's not even my money. So I bought this, tried it out, and I was so disappointed. Honest to God, it's oh. I mean, uh, if you have it and you love it, then fur videos. But I just do not like it. I have really short eyelashes. They are short. They are bad. I just I'm just the worst person for makeup, which is why I will look awful on these videos because it just does not agree with my skin. Video like because I don't know. I don't know how I can alter that at all, but. Normally I don't look too bad, but then with the whole camera light thing, it just makes me look atrocious. Um, yeah. But I have terrible little midget eyelashes, and this did not help at all. Um, and I was really confused because I thought my friend liked it, so why didn't it me? And then it hit me, my friend has the longest mother bleeping eyelashes in the world literally she has guy eyelashes she has such long eyelashes and yeah that's why it worked for her but then my mum bought me a ton of these magazines because they have free samples in them well, yeah well one of those people who gets as much free stuff as possible but there's nothing wrong with that and this came in one of them with a little mirror on the back just so you can see a bit dirty. But this, which was free, and it's worth £15, model co lash extend, is cheaper than the £19.50 Benefit mascara, and it's better, in my opinion. They both don't do anything miracle-ish, which they pretty much... This one doesn't say or make miracles, but this one bloody does. But this one, generally, it made my eyelashes feel clumpy and icky and first at the end of the day I just could not wait to get it off because I felt like I was really really damaging my eyelashes with it I just felt like I had too much on, I felt like my eyelashes looked awful I just couldn't do it like see my eyelashes now, my bottom ones, ignore the top they are false see the, this is the brush You can already see the massive clump on the end as well, look. Look at that. It's awful for that to the match the other eye match. But literally, it's just it makes my eyelashes feel all horrible and dried out and icky and I just don't like it that much. I feel like I really did waste my money for nineteen pounds fifty. I've had clothes cheaper than that. I've been to Primark and bought an outfit cheaper than that. And either I'm just a massive scrubber or they've ripped me off. Or both. Anyway. I've had problems with backcombing my hair for forever. It's not backcombing right now, so I don't even 
judge this off that. But background brushes are tons easier than back combs. They don't feel as painful or anything. So thank God for Avon Advanced Techniques. It's like two pound. Uh, this is the powder I use. I don't know whether there's a problem with look at my glittery nails. I don't know if there's a problem with the powder or a problem with my brush. But that feels kind of rough even though it's not rough on my hand at all. So it was the powder or that, but it does not work at all. Let's see. Uh, let's see, got this recently. The light is making it hard to read. It's Avon, it's like a vibrating eye roll on to make your own dry circles vanish. You can't see anything at the minute, but I feel like it's making my eyes feel brighter in the mornings, which is great. Favourite two body sprays. This is this was half price. Such a cheapo Rihanna, but it's really really nice. And this one is something I got from H and M. It was like three pound. And honestly, these things they smell amazing. They last for a little bit, not mega long, but they last quite a bit. And if it's really really hot outside, they make you feel so refreshed. So definitely worth buying. And last but not least. I was shopping for her spray a while back and I saw all these little Elnet and Bedhead and Tresemme, not Tres yeah, Tresemme ones for like five pounds and the bottles are literally as big as that. That was anticlimactic. So was me saying anticlimactic because I didn't know how to say the word. Then I got this. I actually have to step back from the camera because it is bigger than my head. And it's Pantene, and it was like, I got this £2. It was definitely reduced, but still, I think it was like reduced from like 3 or 4 quid or something, but that is amazing. It's gigantic. It is. Is it as long as my forearm? I don't know. Oh, yeah. And I have long arms. So, I'm also, look at my phone case. It's a teddy. So, don't believe all the crap. I can't say anything worse. <laughs> can't even say my favourites were, were, which is... I'm not going to tell you. Um, um, so wait, another crappy quality video with my crappy skin. Just don't believe all the crap you hear. Um, buy. Just, just try anything. Even if you buy something cheap and it doesn't work, you're not like you've wasted a ton of money on it. It's not like buying something expensive to see if it works and then you've wasted a ton of money if it doesn't. So, it's my motto in life. I hope my eyebrows are still on. I don't even know why I bother drawing them on anymore because you can't even see them under my hair. This is my problem. One is higher up than the other, so I have to draw this one in like a, this one. No. This one is I have to draw in. Sorry, the camera's backwards. This one here I have to draw in a bit thicker at the top than it actually even is. Just so they look even. Okay, so I, if you're wondering about my eye makeup, which you're probably not, because this is an eight-minute video now of me just talking, but you know, uh, this is uh, I'll probably leave a link if I if I forget then. I don't know, I'll probably do it in the next video if I forget, but I'll try to leave a link to the channel of the makeup artist, Candy Johnson, who's, this is the Tinkerbell look. It's not the exact Tinkerbell look because it was my very first attempt and I did mess up quite a bit, especially with the eyeliner flick. So don't take me for example, if you want this look, just lost a better version of this look. Just click on the link and look for the Tinkerbell video. It's so cute. It looks amazing with green eyes. Not green eyes. There's some blue eyes. Brown eyes. I'm sure it looks great with green eyes. But I have blue eyes. She has brown eyes. Looked amazing. I think it looks amazing on me. Anyway. Bye.